Hello and welcome to Flashback Generations, episode 41. Uh, as usual, it's Pete and I. Um, we are going to be doing our Imperial Assault reviews for the skirmish mode, as usual. Uh, tonight we are doing Fen Cygnus, who was one of the original characters in the game. Yeah, core box character. Yeah, so... Um, I, I can't, have we done them all? Have we done Garkan? Yeah, we did. Um, I think we, this is the last guy, I think. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, it's the last core character we're going to be doing. Um, yeah. <laughs> gosh, we're getting towards the end. Um, yeah, but uh, I, I personally, I've used this guy a lot of times and I've used him to good effect and I've really enjoyed using him. Oh, he's a swine to play against, yeah. Um, I think people know how to deal with them nowadays and I think age as well has sort of I don't know, slowed him down a little bit um, <laughs> but let's go through him. So he's nine points, uh, he's a unique character and he's rebel only uh, he has got trooper and leader as his keywords uh, he's got ten health so nine points for ten health which I think is okay. Speed four well he's a trooper so it's fine one black defense, which is interesting for rebel, because yeah. they're mostly white. Um, and his attack is red, green, blue. That's a strong attack. It is. Uh, and most people, usually when he attacks, people go, oh, God, I didn't know he's going to do so much damage. <laughs> oh, terrible. In with the focus, it just goes through brick walls. It's, it's green, enough. green, red, blue. Yeah, it is. Uh, and then his extra you know, surge, is what the surge can be spent on. He's got blast one, plus one damage, and plus one accuracy. Shocking the blast on there. Yeah, that that catches people out. The, it um, does because, I mean, if you're not too familiar, well, one fi uh, factor is his, his figure. He's just a little sniper-looking guy. He just looks like an endor trooper or something, you know. Mm -hmm. But he's carrying uh, like you know a multi-launcher bazooka. That's 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 the effect, isn't it? Oh, he's awesome. I mean, he's better than a, an ATST at firing, but pretty much with a focus on. Uh, Shocking. He's got Assault. He can perform multiple attacks each activation. He can do it twice. He can, yeah, to do it twice. And he's also got Trooper Assault. After a friendly trooper within three spaces resolves an attack, it may gain Assault limit once per round. So he can make one trooper attack twice. Mm. Which, that's why I love him. <laughs> yeah, most he, often, oh, you've used it most, I think I've seen it most often used with the, um, well, the uh, Echo Base Troopers. Um, do you know what? I, I find it's Although, actually it's yeah, just as good with the red with the red guys. Yeah, the red the red rebels because they they um they usually throw they're sitting around with a focus on, aren't they? To start with, well, they got a focus. But the other thing is that when those rebel troopers don't move, they get plus one damage and plus two range. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. So, um, I mean, this guy's so obvious what he does, and I personally, I think he's he's absolutely brilliant. The problem with him is. is I also find that he can, you can commit him a little bit too much. You know, uh, that assault, for instance, as much as you might think, oh, wow, we're going to attack twice and kill loads of stuff, then he gets killed. Yeah, then he get, he's, he's only got a black die. He's got 10 health, but... Um... 10 health is good, but it's not, like, enough to really make him survive. Also, he doesn't have plus two damage in there, so getting that, pl that damage, the that, that blast one, that's not necessarily going to come off. Yeah, you, you, the green, green, blue, well, green and blue should give you one surge. A lot of the, a lot of the times, I feel like I get blocked and I need to but, get the extra one damage. Yeah, he's not surge. He's not covered in surges, is he? No, no but that's, that's why you were talking about the extra surge dice. Uh, sorry, focus with him. Yeah, he's hideous if you get that. And of course, Gideon's usually nearby, passing out focuses to him and stuff. So, um, Gideon. Um, I find Gideon's worth pushing him to and yes. then focusing him up. Yeah. So he's a prime candidate for that sort of behaviour. <laughs> Gideon must be his dad. <laughs> I think so. Uh, he's an awesome character. Uh, he, he's also, he's nine points, which is actually probably his biggest downfall. Um, like we were talking about Kane Samos, he, he yeah. kind of is just a reverse engineered Kane, Sam, Kane Samos. He's kind of a, the, the, the better shadow of uh, Kane Samos, really, I think. Uh yeah, well, he kind of does the same thing. A little bit more versatility because he's got 
someone hasn't got an awesome, really awesome gun, and this guy has. And this guy can shoot it twice, you know. So this guy can deal out damage on his own if you're prepared to risk him a bit. Sam must have got better range than him. True, yeah. This guy's got surge plus one accuracy, and you don't really want to burn a, a, a surge on that because. No. Uh, but you've got the versatility. You can put on another pip of damage, put on the accuracy if you need it, or if the situation is right, and it often will be in this game, you can stick a blast on. Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, and then if you didn't quite do it, if you're shooting at a medium to uh, top-end character, you can get one of your mates nearby to have a go as well. So, yeah, he's he's a good damage... I think he's better at damage dealing than, um, than Somos, definitely, man for man. What I do like is a trooper assault is quite an easy one to get your your friendly troops to actually get it off. Yeah. Um, Samos, on the other hand, has to usually run around actually making people do it. He doesn't quite need to do that. There's a three spaces as well. well. He's got advanced comms built in. He's, his is within three spaces. Yeah, and he's a point cheaper than Samos. Yeah. Um, yeah, Plus same keywords. As well, the troop assault's passive. It's not him doing anything. It's somebody nearby shooting. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not his action. It's his buff. Yeah. His his actions are usually spent trying to assault. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. I do find that he's very handy to stick in the back and just you know. There's another uh, there's another candidate for um, to the limit as well. Oh, mind you, no, you've got to do a special action for to the limit. It just won't work with him at all. No, it won't. Sorry, ignore me. Yeah. We'll ignore that bit. Um. So list list building wise, he's awesome. Yeah, I have to have troopers in his list, the same as uh, Samos. Because otherwise you're you're ignoring that whole trooper assault part, and you're paying basically you're paying points for him to get that off. Yeah. Because uh, his normal assault isn't worth nine points. If you know if you know you're better off buying three troopers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, three red troopers because you're getting fifteen life on a white die, and they'll have a better attack than him. Uh, so, but you know him with troopers really does work. The combo up so well. Yeah, he's got the leader as well, just in case you need it. Yeah. Oh, a lot of rebels have leader. He's he he's really good. The nine points, so like he is quarter of your list, which is quite a a chunk. Um, I'm not, you know, that that's a bit that I'm a bit like unsure of. There's a yeah. lot of new um rebel, uh, what are they called? Troopers coming out. You got all the the gorilla troopers, and we've had the snow troopers. He, he you know, so there's good versatility with what he can work with, but uh, I don't know if if he's like really worth the extra points, but it just feels like he is. He seems well, he's one point cheaper than Samos, and mm -hmm. he just he just supports his guys around him uh, better because he he doesn't need to do anything. They it's a passive buff, so that's better. Yeah, he's two life less, but I mean, if he had a white die, he'd be. Super awesome, wouldn't he? But uh, he's got, it's just that black die. He will die every every so often. I think the black die is better. It's more, more well, dependable. Well, it, it is, but, um, you know, when you've got a, a 10 health train to get through, um, two X-Men over two or three rounds really frustrates your opponent. Hmm. Yeah. Whereas one damage in it or one surge cancel, do you know what I mean? The black yeah. Yeah. can be unkind. Uh, and it, it swings around about, I guess, but... Um, Depends how good you are at rolling them X Men. You you might miss the white dice on this guy. I've killed him a few times. Ah, uh, he does he does die. That's what I found. As soon as okay. he gets hit, like he's real, the real danger as, uh, is not recognizing the threat this guy poses and what he's doing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if you see this guy and you can get at him, you know, scare him off, um, shoot him up a bit, um, and it, it's some players will then leg him back around the corner and he's out of the game for two or three rounds. You know. The threat's removed, so you don't need to kill him. Um, but you know, certainly try and kill him if you can. He's awesome, an awesome character. He is. All right, let's uh move on to command cards because uh, yeah, we've pretty much just gone through. He, he doesn't, he works at troopers, don't bother otherwise. So, our first card we're going to go through is Element of Surprise. Ooh, element of Surprise, yeah. Any figure zero points, you can have one in your deck. Uh, when use when you declare an attack, if the target figure. Did not have line of sight to you at the start of your activation. Remove one die from its defense pool. I thought it's, it's just like so powerful. One of the best cards going. Yeah, it, it's anti everybody, isn't it? It's, yeah, uh, you know, against rebels with their you know jammy jammy X Men result on the white die. 
the, o- the say- only list that this doesn't work with. <laughs> if you've got a, uh, if you've got loads of large guys in your list, so banters and stuff, which I've tried, I had this in my list before. You can't get it off because all your large guys, are, everyone can see them all the time. Yes, it's it's for when you're round a corner. You know, mm-hmm. you got to be round a corner uh, with big guys. Um, other guys, you know, you just have to be behind two of your own men. You hop out, throw down element of surprise. No, you're not having your white die. Bang, you know, it's, um, it's it's good for three PO eight nine ten point characters. Things like Boba Fett, you know, um, people with a bit of movement who can then get out again. And, and do it again next round. Well, not do it again, but you know what I mean? Get out of danger. People uh, like 3PO is good because you can insta-kill him. Yes. Your opponent, yeah. your opponent, uh, you know, because he's got four life, but you're usually thinking, oh, I'll just block Plus, some of it. Who's like nigh on impossible to kill because he gets an X-Man result even if he rolls a blank. True, Throws yeah. Down, you might take him out. Well, you might dent him a bit and at least make the job a little bit less impossible. He's six life, so yeah. No, it's a, a, such a good card. Utility card. Zero points. The zero points actually means it's a little bit susceptible to uh, certain, you know, uh, being negated or whatever. Negated, yeah. And this is this is one of the cards that I've used negate on um, sometimes, you know. Oh, certainly, yeah. Because this is... if you've got a character on, low, you know, only a few life left and you're thinking, ha, ah, I've got two black because I'm Darth Vader or whatever, or, you know. I've got a white die. I'm going to be okay. Um, maybe you've even got a re-roll on it, you know. Um, but no, not not if, they, not if they throw down this card. So it, it's almost you'd look at the situation. Yeah, it's it's a candidate for being negated, definitely. All right, let's go into our next card: Stealth Tactics. Do you want to run through it? Yeah, Stealth Tactics is a one-point card. You can have one in your deck. It's any small figure. Uh, it's the Obi Wan Kenobi picture, and it's mm. used while defending to add one white die to your defense pool. So, so uh, yeah, I'm going to point out that you have to use this card before you roll your dice. Well, that depends. We had a row about this the other week, didn't we? There is a long essay on uh, when while defending and while attacking is. But it depends if you're adding. I know if you're adding range, you can do it afterwards. But it's, if you're adding dice into your pool. Yeah. They made it complex. <laughs> As the ability in... that is resolved while defending can be used at any point during the attack, with the following exceptions. Ability that an ability that adds dice to a dice pool mm-hmm. can only be used immediately before step two of the attack. There, step there you go. The attack is roll dice. So you must add the dice or die white die before you roll the dice so you can't roll the dice and then say oh and i'm going to add a white die because i didn't like that result you've got to build it's that you build your pool stage isn't it yeah that's what i that's what i said although you know what i i do find that that's one of the worst things that they wrote about imperial assault it's dodgy it's the one that's it's one of the few things that still causes rouse i know it's, it's the word while defending it's like it's well why you know why did they have to say that why didn't they just say uh before you before you Roll dice. Well, it's Add one completely away. vague. It's like you know, while I'm at work, I will print this out. Well, is that you know, when you get there after lunch, just before you go home, you know, mm. while is completely open. Luckily, they spelled it all out, but you have to sit there and read for a bit, you know. To... Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is one of those things that, that when you first start playing the game, you look it up and you you realize the rules, then you forget it a few months later. Yeah, and that's when the people. That's why you're talking Such to people. Creeping, yeah, 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 and it's one of these things that it'll crop up forever. Yeah. So um, yeah, I well, think the it's. Card itself, I mean, yeah, it's great. You know, um, it's it's when you're nervous, nervous. Um, somebody's being shot at. It could be anybody, anybody at all, any small figure even, and you don't want to lose them. They're looking a bit shaky. Just throw a white die on. Oh, so good. It's you know when when you just roll the blank on it. <laughs> Royal Guard Champ or someone is about to die, and yeah. you know you're really like, I need him to survive. That's when you roll your you know to so get two whites and one black. Yeah. Ah, oh, no, great card. Or Vader, or anybody, any small figure. Indeed. Um, <laughs> on Troopers, because it's one point, you know, it's uh, it's for characters, really. And let's go through the last card, then. The Burst Fire. This is a Fen Cygnus uh, unique card. Two points, you can have one on the deck. For an action, perform an attack. If the target suffers one or more damage, each figure adjacent to the target space is stunned. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Situational. Um, it's, I, yeah. What would make this more interesting is if he didn't have a blast, 
because the blast is what makes people kind of react to them, so they don't tend to stand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the trouble, isn't it? So, it's a bit like people know his trick. If he didn't have blast and he just had that, I think he'd be a lot more deadly. Yeah, it'd be stun blast, wouldn't it, instead? Well, then people would go, what? Yeah. Oh, you got me. But the... instead, people are like, well, I'm not going to stand near my guys because I know that that you know he's got blast and then suddenly so this burst fire is hard also because i'm saying that this is a, this is the hard part because people know that he's blast they'll act in a certain way then he has assault so you typically want to attack twice when you want to attack twice you're suddenly not actually um moving to get yourself in a position where you can hit lots of troops yeah. so he's sort of so this card's not as great as it sounds no, it's uh, there's problems with it. Like you say, the blast is the main thing, and the other thing is, um, let's say the opponent has no idea, you know, what fencingness does or what his unique card is, or even that he's got blast. Um, you've still got you've still got to uh, wait for that time when they're all clumped up together nicely. You know, it, it may not happen. It's uh, it's a bit situational, yeah, mm-hmm. and it just costs an action. So, well, it's the same as an just doing attack. <laughs> yeah. It is part of your attack anyway, but, you know, uh, as in... Yeah, sorry, yeah, it's an attack, isn't it? It's just an add-on to the attack, you're right, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, so, I, I, do you know... Target has got to support one or more damage, the same as Blast, which you probably will do with the gun that you're shooting, because it's an awesome gun. Um, I mean, one in ten games, you're going to get that card off, and it's going to do the best thing ever. Yeah. You know, for instance, you shoot, you shoot a Bantha. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely going to suffer damage. And then suddenly everybody around that banther is stunned, which hopefully, you know, if you're with any luck, will include, include another banther. <laughs> yeah, although, yeah, each figure adjacent to the target space is stunned. Yeah. It's the target you're shooting you want to be stunned. Though. Oh, sorry, banther, you want to be stunned. Well, you shoot the guy next to the banther then who's crap at defending, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I like it. I just think, think it's expensive for two points. Kind of. It is a little bit, yeah. Like you say, it's situational. It could be awesome, and it could do nothing. I think it's a, I think it's a tough one to use on him, just because of his role. Uh, you know, he, he's a, he's basically basically a killer and a finisher. Yeah. And that card just makes him distract. Uh, it's a bit more spy espionage card. You know, that makes him have to run around and do things. Yeah, yeah. You know, get himself in the perfect position and shoot that guy who you know needs to get shot. So it's just not, it's not perfect for, it's not ideal. You could pull it off with element of surprise, couldn't you? You know, you run around the corner, throw down element of surprise, shoot somebody, they get no defence die. Everybody next to him is stunned. It's, yeah. a lot, it's a lot of work to stun a few guys, but... Uh, well, stun is the best... Uh, stun is the best thing, yeah, but, you know... The best thing in the world. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, yeah, okay, so jury's out for that card anyway. Um, what do you think of the model? Uh, yeah, he's, is this the guy? He's, he's, is he crouched down? He's crouched down. I can't remember what he's doing with his gun now. He's is not he, crouched down. Is he not crouched down? No. Let me have a quick search of him. I can no no memory of what he looks like. <laughs> no memory. No live Google searching. No, he's not crouched down. He's sort of squatting a bit. Yeah, I, I see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I I quite enjoyed painting him. He's he's a good one. The He's got the nice little Endor style hat, yeah, or Endor esque hat. He's got the little bandana around his neck. That's cool. He looks very. Um, do you know what he looks like? He looks like uh, a forty k Imperial Guard. I know. Don't swear. <laughs> but his gun is awesome. He's got a well, big gun that looks like it's a syringe with a you know with a hose pipe and a rifle and a machine gun all added into one. They were the Catan something or other, weren't they? Catalans, yeah, whatever they call. Catalans, yeah. Yeah. And he's good, and everybody's painting him in khaki and browns, as per the box art and the card art. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you think he, of the model? He, he kind of would fit in any sort of, you know, warfare or sci-fi game, really. He's generic. He's a generic, cool sort of soldier. What would you rate it? Uh, I'm, I'm seven. Oh, I'm going to go lower. I, I kind of don't like the. I don't like how he's holding the gun. It's not right. Well, how would you want him to do with all it between his knees? I don't know. Well, like, okay, if you look at his card, he's got like a kind of, you yeah, know, he's got it on his shoulder. Over macho. Proper way. Yeah, this, thing, isn't he? Yeah. This way, he's holding it like 
commando, like, like, like commando. That's, yeah, or he, he's, gonna, he's a super squirter. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hmm. Yeah, I just can't see that, but it's it's all right. It's it's, it's you know he's still a, he's a sci-fi model. In fact, look where he has a gun rest. It's on his it's on his elbow. <laughs> if he shoots yeah, that, he's, he's taking his arm off. Bicep. Yeah, he's gonna get bruised shooting it that way. <laughs> yeah. Although it's a laser gun, so we presume no kickback. You know. Hmm. <laughs> yes, it's in the past. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I don't know. I think he's a five from me. I kind of. I kind of like the I, I like I like the way I painted them, and I enjoyed it. But mm. yeah, it's easy to paint because you just get the old sand, which is brown and beige yeah. skin, and that's it. I do. I like the um the way he's got the knee pads and all that sort of stuff. I think he's yeah. interesting. Okay, right. Well, let's leave it there. And uh, hey, I'll tell you what, Dave, you're yeah. going to be disappointed because um if they if they go into Rogue One. That's pretty much the uh, the main girl's costume, isn't it? Oh god, yeah. Pretty much with a longer coat. That, that's her, really. <laughs> Stick some lipstick on him. You've got the Rogue One character. Do it, keep doing. Okay, guys. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time. Cheerio.